Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and it's Sunday, which means it's time for our mailbox cleanout of our 200 run series, um, where we run a dungeon 200 times, uh, and then we add a new dungeon to our sales each week to track to see how much our sales have improved each week, if they have, uh, by adding that dungeon uh, and that amount of loot from another 200 runs. Not taking anything away again, uh, just adding on. Um, and we are now on week four, so that means that we have actually added four dungeons in uh, so far. We'll be adding in a fifth one today. Uh, looking here, you can see we first added Dire Mall East, 200 runs from that. Then we had 400 runs because we added Sunwell. Uh, and then we had RFD, we added that one, 600, and so on. So Welling Caverns was this week. Uh, again, we're not taking anything away, so it's not really the value. It's not to be confused with the value of that dungeon because we're still selling stuff from the previous runs. It's just to see how much by adding that much loot and that other dungeon does it increase our sales or not um so yeah last week we had 106,498 we started off good too at 132 9 11 after dire mall it went down you know once we did some well but then again we still only were you know had two dungeons at this point then we had three so you know it was a little you know a little better uh and even the first one was pretty high but then again we had a lot of that in the materials that uh that dungeon provided so so yeah still not bad though we have actually sold transmog every single week uh hopefully this week will be the same uh so that's good even if it's just a little bit um so yeah so we're looking at uh 272,609 gold is how much we've made total so far um with transmog being the highest too which is good um because majority of that material um uh, you know gold that we made was actually from the first week because it was about eighty thousand gold so really it's really been very little uh as far as the dungeons afterwards and which we did that on purpose so we'd actually have some spare gold in case we needed it to post transmog if we weren't having any sales so uh so really good that we've actually been able to uh make that much gold with the transmog alone uh we do again also have the realms separated out but they are working together so they are trading items between each other to make sure that we are posting you know as much as we possibly can uh instead of items just sitting around on one realm and not the other and again the goal is to hit gold cap uh so anyway with all that being said let's go ahead and pull up our bank alt here and see uh we've i did do it right this week <laughs> we got the low value transmog bank tune up first for proudmore now granted i did have things expiring right as i started to record here um uh, right before i started to record so might have some expires on thrall when we get to that one because i'm sure they're right behind each other as far as posting um so we might have to deal with that but i did try to take care of it um you know beforehand but i wasn't able to catch those i guess uh when they expired because they hadn't expired yet uh so anyway first up low value transmog on proudmore that is you know when our alliance tune uh runs uh, we haven't really traded anything low value i don't think not really um but in our last dungeon again was welling caverns uh so we'll be looking to see if we sold any well uh, you know loincloths or anything um so anyway, it does look like we actually still are selling stuff from RFD. We got the gold thorn tees really low now. They're down to 284. Uh, we did start to sell them at 1200 like we were last week, but uh, they have kind of gone down, but they are moving. Uh, we sold the Ziggler. That could have also came from RFD. That's a blue item. Uh, it's very low though. J Belt actually sold for a decent price for a low value transmog item. Almost 3000 gold. That did come from RFD. I think we only got that one too uh ceremonial leather harness came from um came from welling caverns all right so not bad there uh we did actually sell something from the dungeon recently jay gauntlets came from rfd so we are still selling the stuff from rfd grizzly jerkin um really nice amount though 26 000, almost twenty seven thousand uh for the auction house cut i'm sure it was over twenty seven thousand want to say that did come from welling caverns but it could be wrong i think it might have I, i'm not sure uh hardcore and breastplate now that came from actually some well since we were even selling stuff from the second dungeon um 
Not sure if we sold anything from Dire Mall here, but not bad. 43,371. A good amount for us to start out with. Uh, let me go ahead and get our that amount added in here. To the top here, switch the keyboard around. 43,371. All right. So we're starting off good, almost 50,000 just with our low value transmog. So let's go ahead and clean that out. All right. And, oh, gotta switch the keyboard back. And we'll log on over to our high value transmog. Now, of course, this is where we hope to see some sales. <laughs> it's always the high value transmog. That's where you want to see it. Um, Again, these things can be low too, even though you know everything's supposed to be over twenty thousand in value. Uh, we got some expires here, even. So anyway, uh, so we do got some sales. Uh, very nice. Uh, we actually got three, two salsa surcoats for a little over four thousand gold. But then we did sell the saltstone legs. So all this came from RFD, of course. <laughs> So uh, 71,249 for those salt stone lakes. Not bad, not bad. Uh, so we've got a total of 79,800 gold. Really nice, really nice. Uh, so again, let me go ahead and add that in. Not really too much to go over with the high value trades. A lot of sales there, but but really nice to see those salt stone lakes. Oh, the only downside is, you know, of course we don't have too many salt stone legs, so uh so but yeah still good to see we'll have loved to have seen some of these loincloths sell unfortunately i mean usually they move pretty fast but didn't sell any this week not on this room anyway maybe maybe when we get the thrall so let's go ahead and clean that out and let's go ahead and just check our materials not gonna be too much there um but uh but yeah still a little something that we get um from uh welding caverns we're not i can't really remember what all would be, I mean, there was the chest, there was one chest like every run. Um, yeah, uh, not too bad though. 3,486 gold. Oh, well we did get, the, we did actually sell the devious scales. Um, claws, we sold those. Uh, let's see, old material, these like old herbs and stuff. I'm sure they came out of the chest, the leather as well. We sold all that. So not bad, not bad. Uh, 3,486. Just a little extra something to add to our clean out here. 3486. Now, of course, the scales and stuff we got off the raptors. Um, so just a little nice little extra thing to add there. All right, we'll go ahead and switch on over to the Thrall and see if they got any sales. Granted, we're probably gonna have some expireds too. Hopefully we're lucky we can catch it before it hits the low value. <laughs> That's the only one I'm really too worried about because you see the high value is not going to be as much. But the low value trade smog uh, could be quite a few items, unfortunately. And we, well, we might be able to get it on the bag. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to actually post some items real quick when we come back to it. See, we do have some gold in there, though. So that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and post these items real quick and then we can actually see what we got. Clean the rest of this out and see exactly what we sold. We should be able to get the rest in our bags. Yeah, no problem. All right, so 10,186 gold. Not bad, not as good as Proudmoor, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, they actually have been doing better than Proudmoor. Um, there, you know, it hasn't been that many weeks, but they did like last week. So it's okay. It's, it's nice to see that Proudmoor sold a little bit more. Uh, and we still haven't checked the high value transmog yet. But um, anyway, we do have, let's see, Tyrant's chest piece. So really low, though. I think it's valued at like 10,000. Uh, but still, it's low value, so whatever. <laughs> no, but, uh, Grizzly Jerkin, uh, sold one of those. Um, is that the same thing we just... No, it was something else, wasn't it? I think it was something Grizzly, though. It was uh, like almost, you know, what? It's 20 some thousand. Uh, but anyway, 633 here. Sold two more of the books. Now, that did come from Dire Mall East. Uh, again, we sold them, we're selling them really low in this round, but they are moving. And you see, we still have a ton left. Um, now I do sell these on other realms for right at the 30,000 that they're almost valued or you know, a little over 30,000 value. I do also sell them on some realms for about like 17,000. 
um, again, you know, this is, they're, they're not in every single run that you do, but there's a lot of them and we do have Dire Maul coming up again. So I'm not too, you know, not stressing it out too much about it only selling for 1400. They are moving, it's making this gold, it's fine. Um, Mystic's Robe sold that for 4000 Now that did come from Welling Caverns, uh, I, I believe. And then we have, uh, let's see here. <laughs> My daughter just trying to come in here. Uh, then we have um, Grizzly Jerkin and get, actually, so we sold two of these. And this one actually sold for more earlier in the week, almost fourteen, you know, almost fifteen hundred gold. Uh, so not bad for that one. We, wish it will stayed at that value, but it did go down. But we sold it. And it's a low value piece again. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that in up here. Ten thousand one eighty six. Oops here actually i'm going to pause the video for just a second because i'm going to shut my door so my daughter open it she's got her computer right let's go ahead and clean this out at 10,186 all right and let's go ahead and swap on over to our high value transmog pink too. And hopefully we got some cells there. I'm sure we probably got some expires as well, but it won't be as bad. We should be able to get everything in the bag. Yeah. All right, so nowhere near what, you know, Proudmore got, but we did actually have two cells. They had three. And they did actually sell a pretty nice piece at selling the, you know, salt stone lakes. We didn't have a sell like that here. Um, let's see, we did sell the Tyrant's Lake plates for 3,800. Uh, and then we sold the, we actually sold the pet, the Deviant Hatchling. Uh, that's the, um, the one that you actually learn in cage. Uh, so we sold that one for 47, uh, 49. The actual unlearned one is like 33,000. So, uh, so yeah, not bad, 8,000. I mean, of course we, We'll hope for more than that, but they actually did pretty well last week, so we'll take it. Uh, 85.50. And granted, overall, if we just you know can make more than we made last week, that's gonna be good. Um, and it's looking like we may have. And I'm sorry, guys, I forgot to actually show the sheet after cleaning out problem, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I just realized that too. All right. The last thing is to go ahead and take a look at the materials uh, for Thrall and see what we got there. All right, and so we've got 3,135 gold, so about the same amount, of course. I mean, they, you know, we're doing the same dungeon. <laughs> so anyway, uh, again, the scales, you know, uh, leather, old gems and things like that. Um, just stuff we got from the chest, um, other than, of course, the scales uh, and the claws and things. But uh, but nice to see that stuff go. 31, 135, a little bit less than Primor. Primor actually made a little bit more on that uh, than they did. But that can that can happen. I mean, it's still RNG even with the materials, uh, even though it's going most times it's going to be you know pretty similar, uh, but it can be can be a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and clean that out, and then we'll pull up our sheet and just see how well we did here. So let's go ahead and get that up. All right. So um, as you can see here, we've got all of our totals in here. We made 43,371 with low value transmog and 79,800 on Proudmore with high value transmog. So really uh, everything this week was mostly on Proudmore. Uh, we did make a little bit with Thrall, 10,186 with the low value, only 8,550 with the high value, but a total of 141,907 gold with transmog this week. So not bad. Uh, and then uh, we made 34.86 and 31.35 coming in at 6,621 with the materials this week, uh, which puts us actually over what we made last week. Last week we made 106.498 and this week we're at 148.528. It's not bad. Um, we're you know now getting to where we're making about a hundred thousand a week. Hopefully that continues. Hopefully it will go up as we're you know we're adding. Uh, this week we'll be adding BFD. Uh, to our sales, so hopefully that'll help bring us some more sales. There was a lot of loot after, uh, you know, 
we ran all those and we went over the loot that was a lot so i'm hoping that will actually help out a lot um that now puts us uh at a total uh that we've made so far 421,137 so four weeks not bad that's more than a token uh so that means we would actually be able to buy our token and actually have some profit left over at the end of the month uh so so not bad not bad um in transmog alone so far we've made 327,859 gold uh and then in uh let's see in uh materials uh we have now made 93,278 gold so it's nice to see we are making majority of our gold with transmog uh and that should be the case mostly since we are just pretty much just running dungeons um again dire mall you know gave us a little bit of a bump in the materials but uh other than that it's going to be these small amounts mostly uh but it is extra gold that you get uh as far as the realms go uh we do have uh let's see Proudmore really improved. I mean, they went up to 126, uh, 657, where they only had 20,000 last week. <laughs> this week, Thrall's about where Proudmore was, 21,000, uh, and they had 86,000 last week. Uh, and so far now, it does look like uh, Proudmore has actually made more now. They have, you know, jumped above Thrall where it was the opposite before we started, 239. 824 with Proudmore and 181 313 with Thrall. Um, so we'll see if that continues. But now we actually get to put our total over here uh, as far as how much we made this week. Um, and let's see here 148, 528. And again, just remember this does not mean this dungeon led to us making this much because actually it probably. It looked more like we sold, we made more gold off of stuff from RFD than anywhere else this week. Um, and that was the dungeon that we added to ourselves last week. Um, we didn't really sell, I didn't see any of the loincloth sell. So that would have been what we've been looking for for Welling Caverns. Not saying that the sell, you know, the stuff didn't help from Welling Caverns, because I think some of the items may have been from there uh we also saw stuff sell from someone we also still saw stuff from dire mall i think it was just the books this week but uh we are still selling stuff from the previous areas so just don't get that confused with you know it's not like we made 148,000 after our 200 runs from welling caverns it did you know it's we added that into our sales and it may have improved our sales um granted we do like to see items from those dungeon runs um sell you know to help us you know to see if it did in fact uh you know sell that week after we ran that dungeon but really it's just about building that stock up uh but anyway guys i hope you guys are liking these cleanups i hope you guys are liking the loot videos that i do as well um which i usually you know I re release those on mondays uh so tomorrow um you will see the video from actually um bfd as far as the loot goes um and then uh you know following monday you'll see the one from iron docks which we've already completed that we're already working if you you know, want to come hang out with us on stream which the link is down below uh it's definitely a lot of fun you guys can come and join me in lax uh we can make it a little bit more competitive and you know have a good time while we're making our gold um but uh if you join me on twitch uh today you'll see that we are actually running direct there and keep already um so we have we're actually far ahead i did actually already move these uh, rfk was actually next but i decided to go ahead since we are so far ahead i decided to go ahead and swap uh rfk and brd uh so that way that was the one i was really trying to be so far ahead for um because it's gonna be a long <laughs> it's gonna be a long long runs you know uh another one lbrs is pretty long um and then i was thinking about no more but i don't know if i want to do two long ones back to back uh so i might put a couple more short ones and then put uh no more in there uh but yeah i do want to do no more pretty soon um you know at the end of this list anyway uh and then yeah guys uh that is where we are so hopefully you guys again like i said are enjoying this uh you know keeping track of it seeing you know that we only add one dungeon each week seeing how our sales improve seeing how long it takes us to get the gold cap hopefully as the loot keeps increasing like it is um 
we'll actually start seeing bigger cleanouts uh, than just in the hundred thousands. We'll actually get up to maybe 300, maybe even one week, 500,000, maybe even up to a million at some point. That would be really nice. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I feel like it's going well. We're selling transmog every week. Uh, really enjoying that. Um, so yeah, and of course we're making gold on our old realms too. Uh, but yeah, if you do like it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Uh, Sundays, is always the clean out again mondays is always the loot video i am also doing the shorts for the routes because people are asking for the routes just you know i know it's kind of sped up but can only put like it in for 60 minutes so <laughs> uh yeah i just figured it's a little something uh maybe i'll do something later with the routes as well i don't know i've also been trying to include those in the loot videos if you've noticed with the last one uh so yeah maybe that helps you know see it a little bit better too uh, but anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this clean out. I will, you know, I hope to see you guys in the next one and I hope to see you guys on stream.